The complete guide to Tokyo Ghoul It's been three years since Tokyo Ghoul's device of second season aired, so it's understandable to need a refresher before diving into Tokyo Ghoul. Re. Here's everything you need to know about the hit horror anime series. Tokyo Ghoul is the story of Ken Kaneki, a bibliophile college student who finds himself lucky enough to score a date with a hot girl. Unfortunately, that girl turns out to be a flesh-eating monster. And the date ends with her harvesting him for his meat. As a wimpy teen trapped in an alley with a deadly predator, Kaneki is categorically screwed. Only managing to survive when a freak construction accident knocks out both of them. The girl dies, and a mysterious doctor ends up transplanting her organs into Kaneki to save his life. Recovery proceeds as normal for a while, until Kaneki realizes that regular food has begun to disgust him, and he's strangely tantalized by the scent of human flesh instead. Tokyo Ghoul has a pretty basic, normal guy gets turned into a monster in human skin setup, but instead of the usual vampires or werewolves, the beastie is something a little more uniquely brutal. The first season is pretty standard for the genre, as Kaneki goes through a tortured process of adjusting to his new identity. Fortunately for him, he's not alone in this situation, it turns out that ghouls have their own complicated societal structure hidden right beneath the surface of Tokyo life. And Kaneki's lucky enough to stumble into one of their nicest factions right away. Anteku is a group of pacifist ghouls who try not to harm humans and survive off scavenged corpses instead. Its members teach Kaneki about his body's new functions, as well as the skills required to survive in society as part of a hunted minority. This part of the story can be divided into a few arcs. But the most important one concerns Kaneki's first encounter with a CCG, a government agency tasked with managing, i.e. exterminating, the ghoul menace. While participating in a storm of vengeance-driven violence against the organization, Kaneki strikes up an odd acquaintance with one of their members, a man named Damon. While the two are nominally enemies, an act of mercy from Kaneki makes Eamon question whether ghouls are really just monsters after all. Since Eamon only becomes more prominent in the series with time, Kaneki's kindness looks to have long-standing consequences. However, things go from bad to worse when Kaneki gets captured and tortured by an especially nasty ghoul named Jason. Kaneki had already been struggling to reconcile his morality with his new cannibalistic existence, but he goes a bit bonkers after this hellish experience. Flipping to instinctive brutality is his way of navigating the world. At this point there's a deviation between the anime and the manga, in the anime. Kaneki takes Jason's place at the terrorist ghoul organization Algiri Tree, while in the manga he forms his own vigilante task force. Either way, his motivation is the same. To protect Antegu using the violent means that they repudiate. All in all, this change doesn't end up making much difference because the story's outcome is the same. Kaneki is routinely manipulated by more experienced players, and Antegu is destroyed in a showdown with the CCG that's gradually arranged by Algiri Tree as part of a bid for power. In the middle of this battle, Kaneki has another mental breakdown. As he realizes that cutting himself off from his new family, to protect them by murdering all of their enemies was not the best way to handle things. In a moment of repentance for causing Anteku's downfall and the death of his best, and only human, friend Hyde, Kaneki allows himself to be struck down by the CCG's champion investigator, Arima. The season ends there, on a note of ambiguity regarding our hero's fate. Fortunately, it turns out that he's just fine. Well, depending on how you define fine. The poster for Tokyo Ghoul re happens to feature a CCG agent who looks just like Kaneki with a mix of his black, human, and white, ghoul, hairstyle. So I'm going to go ahead and assume he survived yet another great cost to his psyche. We'll also have to see how much this new season retcons things from Tokyo Ghoul Square Root A. Since it made a few choices that were incompatible with TGRE's manga version.
While the story is simple enough to summarize, Tokyo Ghoul has a bazillion characters doing anything at any given moment. And enough of them are going to be relevant in this new season that you'll definitely need a glossary. Here's the rogues gallery, sorted by each character's factional allegiance, and Teku. An organization of pacifist ghouls. Headquartered at a coffee shop, they're eventually destroyed in a raid at the end of the second season, Tuka Kirishima. The series heroine in Kaneki Senpei in Compulsory Cannibalism. She has a rough and tough exterior but can be surprisingly nice once you get to know her. Extremely protective of the people she cares about. Hinami Fuguchi, a kind and gentle girl who becomes the first person to befriend Kaneki in his new life. When her mother is murdered by CCG investigator Koreo Mato, she and Tuka are forced to kill him in turn, initiating Hinami into the violence that follows life as a ghoul. Nishiki Nishio, an upperclassman at Kaneki's college and one of the first ghouls that he meets. While they were enemies at first, the two come to an understanding in order to rescue Nishiki's human girlfriend. Renji Yomo, a quiet, older brother figure in Anteku. He still hangs out with Tuka post-time skip. Yoshimura, Anteku's boss and owner. He advocates for peaceful relations between humans and ghouls. Using his exceptional strength to maintain Anteku's status as a neutral power in the ghoul turf wars. Some time in the past, he fathered a half-human child, who's currently the Algiri Tree member ETO. At the end of Tokyo Ghoul Square Route A, he sacrificed himself to protect both Anteku and his daughter. The CCG, the Commission of Counter Ghoul, is a government organization established to deal with all of the murderous super cannibals that have infiltrated human society. Unfortunately, they don't care much to distinguish between violent and non-violent targets. Kutaro Eamon, a young investigator in the series Deuteragonist. While he starts out the series hating ghouls due to a traumatic experience in his childhood, his encounters with Kaneki have led to him question that hatred. He's left distraught after the death of his first partner and surrogate father figure, Koreo Mato. Afterward, he forms a strong quasi-romantic bond with his new partner, Mato's daughter Akira. He's Mia after the final battle. Akira Mato, a talented young investigator who takes up her father's position after his death. While she starts off resenting Eamon for failing to save her dad. They end up working through their grief together and form a strong, personal bond. She survived the final battle. Juzu Suzuya a strange young man who was raised by ghouls to participate in gladiatorial death matches. At some point, the CCG rescued him and decided to put his psychopathic skills to use in hunting ghouls. While his trauma has left him with a childish demeanor and morbid interest, he begins to heal by forming a parent-child relationship with his senior partner. While that partner is left comatose following the final battle, Juzu lives to fight another day. Sato Takizawa, a good-natured young investigator from the same graduating class as Akira who harbors an inferiority complex to her and Eamon. He's Mia after the final battle. Kisho Arima, a legendary ghoul investigator referred to as the God of Death. Not much else is known about him. He takes out a surrendered Kaneki during the final battle. Aogiri tree This large organized gang of terrorist ghouls dominate one area of Tokyo. Besides participating in basic turf wars, they seem to be cooking up a greater scheme for even more power. They're led by two legendarily dangerous ghouls, the One-Eyed King and the One-Eyed Owl. ETO. This executive of the gang has the appearance of a small and friendly woman. In the second season, she's revealed to be Yoshimura's half-breed daughter, as well as the most dangerous ghoul ever encountered by the CCG, the One-Eyed Owl. She's also an acclaimed author, Kaneki's favorite, in fact, under the pen name Sentakitsuki.
That's quite an accomplished life for a person who isn't even out of their 20s. Otherwise, ETO appears to be in the know about whatever massive scheme is going on behind the scenes. Ayato Kirishima Toka's estranged brother who disagrees with her affection for humans after losing their father to tragedy as a child. He's got some serious anger issues. The clowns this bunch of asshole ghouls hang around in clown masks and seem to be up to no good. Not much else is yet known. Probably hot topic enthusiasts. UTA. Yomo's old acquaintance who makes masks for other ghouls. He seems nice enough on the surface, but at the end of Tokyo Ghoul Square Route A, he's revealed to be part of a clown club that's scheming behind the scenes. So, he's probably a bad guy of unknown intent. Unaffiliated, other rise Kamishiru. The beautiful ghoul girl who tried to kill and eat Kaneki at the beginning of the series. Kaneki has her ghoul.